Now from KTTV Los Angeles, Harris, Devine, Thompson, Garcia, this is Fox News. Hundreds of gays turn out tonight in Hollywood to celebrate a landmark decision on gays in the military. But are they celebrating too soon? Good evening, everyone. I'm Christine Devine. And I'm Barbara Schroeder. Chris Harris has the evening off. A stunning court victory for a gay sailor tonight is adding some legal muscle to President Clinton's fight to lift the military ban on homosexuals. A federal judge has ruled the military's ban is unconstitutional. Uh, have, uh, Navy Petty Officer have Keith Meinhold is thrilled by what uh, appears yes, to be an I unprecedented have, ruling. Uh, we're on the road to progress here, and I'm <laughs> ecstatic. Meinhold was kicked out of the Navy after revealing on TV that he is gay. He no told students at Stanford University tonight he is now going back to work. Uh, this comes after federal judge Terry Hatter ruled this afternoon on Meinhold's case, okay. stating, quote, the Department of Defense is permanently enjoined from discharging or denying enlistment to any person based on sexual orientation. Experts say this ruling carries even more weight than the executive order that Bill Clinton has been working on to lift the military ban. Today, Clinton forged ahead, haggling with opponents on Capitol Hill, the White House saying to expect a statement by tomorrow. The principle behind this for me is that Americans who are willing to conform to the, to the requirements of conduct within the military services, in my judgment, should be able to serve in the military. And that people should be disqualified from serving in the military based on something they do, not based on who they are. A big question remains as to how the ruling will affect Clinton's efforts and the military is expected to appeal the decision.